Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. What's up guys? We've reached the actual theory fodder of the game. And also the place where I'm about to do 75,000 different voices and it's gonna suck. But before we get there, uh, let's look around this room. Cause, uh... Let's see, well we got the... It's a worn down stuffed animal. Yeah, so that's Sham. So, you remember the layout of the place? It was the forest. Okay. The checkerboard passage. Uh-huh. The bake sale. And the card castle. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Playing cards spill out of the deck in the closet. It's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Huh. It's a light switch. So yeah, that that that's where we were. <laughs> Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. How long were we in there for? Guess Alfie's will know better than to ask us next time, huh? And no one was notified of our weird disappearance. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. See ya. Chris? What's up? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? <laughs> sure, buddy. Whatever you say. Okay. Door's locked. Door's locked. Now we can explore. I've already been in that classroom, so fuck it. Yeah. But we can go over here now. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? Um. But usually with legs? Join the cross-country team with Jockington and Noel. <laughs> yeah, cross country is better with legs. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. This used to be your brother's locker. It's your locker. It's empty. Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Scented markers. Uh, sure. You dig out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. And... It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square, hyperdodecahedron. Very simple. It's a computer. It's desktop wallpaper is of you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Some kind of teacher food. <laughs> Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. The throne of the gods. Oh, Jesus. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? So they just straight up named her uh, Toriel. Yeah, your mom is Toriel. C Chris! Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue on your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Uh, thanks, Mom. So we don't have a lot of friends, in case you couldn't tell from that conversation. Yeah. We... Also, our mom teaches at the school. Right. She teaches kids. Looks like some sort of kindergarten, preschool type thing. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. No, you weren't. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. What? How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Ugh, you're such an ass. Chris! What's up? Hey, buddy. Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball, 73 times. Good, good job. That's a Goku colleague, so Tim stubby hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> There's an anime review. Read it. 
no, 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 no. Or yes. Sure. Teens Corner Monthly Tune Reviews. I don't want to read this. It's way too long. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I was just saying, because I, I was remembering, uh, what's her face? The, uh... Alfie. Yeah, Alphys from Undertale and her, like, little anime review thing. It's just so long and not worth it. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The Teen Zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Uh, I, I think the marketing team wasn't on There's a book that. here. You look at the page. It's delicious. This must be what they mean by flavor text. We are just a weird child. <laughs> it's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. What the hell is that thing in just, just standing there? Please remember by name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. Oh, okay. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Computer Lab. Please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. <laughs> yeah. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Huh. I wonder if that's a commentary on anything. No, it's Toby Fox. Uh, yeah. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really. Uh, Read them! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Totally. I love reading books, especially the books. That's what one reads. Uh, we're just gonna go. Police officer undying. Town hall. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. I, I don't think that's what? what the cops are for. Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. It's not their responsibility. You're just a I'm hand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you'll need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. I uh, will do. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative, but she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. Yeah, yeah you said it, buddy. It's a painting of the town. It's a small pine tree. Yes, it is. It's a chair. Maybe it's into politics. <laughs> the chairs are... I have no idea who the fuck the mayor is. Yeah. Because you can't get in there. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak it. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participated to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Yeah, but the, it, it's pretty awesome fruit juice, though. It's wine. Well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, communion wine's really not that great. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of the best ideas came from my dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. I can relate. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Ah. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Aw. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. That's very sweet. Okay, you ready for something that I still don't understand? Yeah, that sure. I want to understand? Sure. I'll try to make sense of this. That doesn't look good. Hear that? Yeah. 
or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You can't open you can't, the door? It's locked. Man, that's really... Um... I just turned up the volume on my computer, so there might be some sound bleed, but... That's very ominous. What the fuck is it? It's like some silent there's hell shit. You, there's nothing you can do with it. No matter what you do, you can't do anything with it. Maybe it's something that was uh, is that's going to be concluded and explained in the full game. Probably. Especially because of that like weird ass sound. Police chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, "Get out of my way!" <laughs> uh, Undyne, you haven't she's changed. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. <laughs> How am I supposed to get past this blue lady, huh? I, I guess I should just run away. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Um... Alfie's. Yeah. Alfie's? Who's Alfie's? No idea what you're talking about. Why did they, why did they do something illegal? Gotcha! If I see Alfie's, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Pretty sure Alfie's would like that too much. Got something to report? Help you? Oh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Yeah. Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> Got something to report? What? There's a dark world inside the school. Uh, sure, kid. There's no laws against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Got something to report? Don't do anything illegal, you little punk. And let me know if you get a lead on any purple girls. There's one wanted on several counts of comic mischief. Ah, uh, ratings. Oh my god! Oh, it's you! Are you here to play the piano again? Uh... The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Uh, you're just a mouth. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Sure. Plink. Huh. You usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. Uh, uh I'm just so taken aback by it's your one beauty. one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. Y you know what? Yeah, that's actually really true. The beads march grimly along their set path. I've never seen them outside They're of They're nowhere else! No, I've never- and this is, this is legit, I've never seen one outside of a doctor's office. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. Descriptive. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. I don't... She's gay. <laughs> yeah. Noelle, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. <laughs> R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazes 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well, Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. Oh, God. D dad No! You should bring it here! I'm bored as hell. Oh, God. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? <laughs> Birdly. It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Now that's a supportive father. Oh, hi, Chris. Yeah, we kind of just barged into your, uh, private room. I'm gonna look at your sink. What's up, dude? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Uh, 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 ha, ha. All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. 
Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago, you were just the creepy kid next door. Uh, thanks. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yes. seriously. You want to chat or something? No, well. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. Santa Claus? And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. I get it. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Uh, sorry, I mean... Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? I'm sure you'll get better, buddy. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. It was a very ta tantalizing light display. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? You can't bore me right now. Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> Probably. I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! Hey, hey, that's my mother. She'd always fuss about going, but once the party got started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Such a... What the hell are you in here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was a zoo or something? Come on. Well, apparently you are quite the animal. Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? Uh, no, guy. It's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noel and Dress made it up. Noel and Dess made it in youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm for me now. Oh, right. You and Azzy tried to make one, too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. Well, yeah, because we wanted cool wings. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? Uh, it doesn't talk about my mom. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy for your, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, I was just gonna that say. That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. It's a chair. I wonder if it's into medical things. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hey, buddy. It's a regular sink. Uh... It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut into half to create both of them. I mean, that's not how cloning works. You looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. <laughs> it's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Ice E as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. Uh, but my blood is boiling for battle. Yeah, buddy. You just sit there and uh, rest up. We'll, uh, well thank you all for watching. Care. Tune in next time. Yeah. Bye. See you later, guys. <laughs> There's so much at the end. Oh, so it's many a, voices. It's a whole world.